Iodine is also a chelator of mercury. Um, so um, it can bind mercury and allow the body to release mercury. So not only does it release fluoride and bromide, um, mercury is another thing. So it's a 37-year-old female. She had a history of fibromyalgia fatigue and Hashimoto's disease, which is a problem, an autoimmune problem of the thyroid. She improved significantly on, hormone, on a hormone balancing regimen that included thyroid, DHA, pregnenolone, natural progesterone, natural testosterone, as well as vitamins and minerals. However, after initial improvement in symptoms, which she claimed were about 60%, she felt that she leveled off. I had a 24-hour urine analyzed for mercury. Um, I had it at baseline. I had it at one day after taking 50 milligrams of iodine and 30 days after taking 50 milligrams of iodine. These were her results. These are only mercury levels. So at baseline, she wasn't releasing much mercury. At one day, she releases a huge amount of mercury. 30 days, she's still releasing a huge amount, but it's starting to come down. So iodine has a lot of positive effects on the body. Iodine is a detoxifying agent for toxic chemicals like bromide, fluoride, chlorine, and mercury. Chlorine is another one that closely resembles the structure, and taking too much chlorine in can bind I or force iodine out, but the reverse can happen. Taking too much iodine, taking enough iodine can cause chlorine to be released. So I dose iodine using a combination of iodine and iodide. Lugol solution is an old-time remedy for iodine deficiency. It was, it was developed in the 1800s. The problem with Lugol is that it tastes horrendous. Um, and if you try and take Lugols for a long period of time, it, it's brutal. Um, so we use a capsule right now. It's called Iodorol. There's only one company making it out there. Um, it's, and it's been a very helpful item for a lot of our patients. So Schopenhauer said, all truth goes through three stages. First it's ridiculed, then it's violently opposed, finally it's accepted as self-evident. In conventional medicine, we're, in holistic medicine, we're between the first and second stage right now. And um, medicine has never been easy to change with anything over the years. Um, Simmel Weiss in the 1800s told doctors to wash their hands between deliveries because it would prevent the death of babies and mothers, and they threw them out of the medical society, wouldn't let them practice and he died a broken man. Um, so I hope to interest you in this. It makes it easier for me the more people that are interested in this, and I think together we can move things forward. Before I take questions, I have one set of slides I wanted to show you, which I thought was in here. I know where it is. 